Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Okay, let me pat this down a little bit. Hi guys, it's been a long time. Oh my goodness, since last year. Well, we're gonna be working on fun stuff today. We're not gonna be working, we're gonna be playing with fun stuff today. Let me see, I need to find a few transfers. Let me know when y'all are on. Hold on a quick. Say hello. Welcome, welcome everyone. Okay, let me look for my transfers and then we will start playing. Hope everyone is doing well. Not in here. We have three things to play with today, guys. Three things. But let me look through my pile of Awesome transfers. Maybe we'll do this one. Maybe we'll do that one. do this one. Hey, Melly, how are you? How are you doing? Are you ready for quilt show? Maybe we'll do this one. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm running late. I'm running late. I know. I haven't been on since last year. I'm doing good, Melly. Thank you. Haven't been on since last year. And um, I finally got my act together, and here I am. It's late, but I got my act together. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll play with this. Welcome, welcome, you guys. When you have a chance, please share, okay? Please share. You guys, I'm going to be working. The first one is going to be the January Club Couture from last year. It's not available anymore, but there's new awesome stuff coming up soon. So if there's anything you still want... Y'all better hurry up and get it because then you're going to be like the rest of us that say, Oh my God, I should have gotten that. Hey, Analia, how are you? Wait till y'all see. Wait till y'all see. Hold on, give me a minute. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek and then we're gonna get working. Y'all see these cups? Remember, um, I had to make, how many, 32 or 35? Well, she wants 35 now. But I had to make those little bags for Halloween for this classroom. I have to make 35 of these cups. Okay? Let me give you a sneak peek and then I'll show you how I do it. And I was going to ink, but I'm not going to ink. Because, 
Can y'all see that? Uh, because I put one in the oven just to try it out and it cracked. So I'm just going to chop paste it and then I'm going to use my DIY um, big top sealer just to seal it. And I'm going to put a little note not to, you know, to hand wash. Isn't that cute? So what it is, it's a cup with a bow embellishment and then this plastic ball that has chocolate inside with sprinkles and marshmallows. Isn't that cute? So that's going to be a little Valentine gift. I have to take the tags off. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I've already done eight. Um, I've got 35 to do total. And this is one. So let's do one tonight. But should I do a white, a teal, or a pink? What should I do? Aren't they cute? And um, it was real hard to find these um, the plastic balls, you guys. It's better to use plastic in case it falls, it shatters. You know, you never know. So um, I did stick them in the dishwasher so they're clean. The teal. Hi, Mr. S. Hello. Hi, Patricia, Miss Patty. How are y'all doing? Okay, you guys, so let's get going because I've got three projects to do tonight, okay? And then I have to maybe stay on later and um, do some more of these or I'll probably finish them up this weekend sometime. So I've missed everybody. Hope everyone's been well. I know everybody's been well that's on right now. So let's get going. You're drinking with Analia? I'm drinking water. Get you fladas. I needed a glass of wine, but I have a lot of stuff to do and I don't want to relax too much because I'm still, you guys, on California time. I'm jet lagged. Cheers. Water. <laughs> okay, so let me cut a few of these up and let's see what we're going to do. So she just wants whatever on there, but, you know, of course, Valentine related. And I had seen these on uh, Pinterest. I didn't think of it, of course. It's from Pinterest, you guys. So many cute Valentine ideas on there. So cute. So you guys, if y'all can do these and sell them, I'm going to try and get a few extra done for market day. But... Should I tell you how much I'm selling them for? Y'all are going to kill me. Should I tell you? <laughs> should I say? Or if y'all want to know, you should message me, right? So I did. Which one is this one? Okay. Hi, Deborah. Welcome, welcome. So we're going to do the teal. Since we're doing the teal, I have magenta, red, of course, bubblegum pink, white, and coral. Look at the coral. Y'all know this is the Pantone color of the year. So should I do coral with teal, magenta with teal? And I'm going to pan down, you guys. Or white and teal. And the rim on all of them is black. It's black. So you guys, if y'all don't mind, please share. I haven't been on in a long, long time, so I need your help. I know it's not your fault, but please help a girl out. And like I said, I'm using paste, and then I'm going to have to use a different sealer to seal them because I put one of these in the oven and it cracked. It cracked. Yeah, it's a really nice size mug. They are from your favorite store, craft store, and they are 40% off right now. 40% off. 
They come in pink, teal, green, I think, like a mint green, real pretty, but I didn't find enough of them. And the white. That's the color they had. And then at the Harlington one, I picked up all the plastic balls. So hopefully y'all can find some. You can use glass also, but if it falls, you know, it's going to break. At the Hoblobs. Hoblobs. So let's start with this one. What color should I use? I'm going to go with coral. What do y'all think? I need something to stop rocking this boat. Here we go. I'm going to use coral. Anyway, I have to use all these colors eventually. Because remember, there's 35 of them. Coral! Yes, ma'am. Let's see if I remember how to do this, you guys. It's only been, what, two and a half weeks? It feels like forever, really, guys. Mix them up. Coral. Yes. Coral and teal turquoise is awesome. Not too bad. You guys. Y'all need to go buy whatever you need to buy from this last, um, what we have on the website right now. Because you don't want to be without you don't want to be without because you know how they sell out and then we're crying because we did not get it okay what do i want what do i want i think i'm just going to do the simple heart so buy whatever you absolutely can't live with and then save your money because you know you guys i'm going to use this just to pull it off easier I'm using the backing just to help me pull it off in a little bit. Because um, the new launch is about to hit us February 4th. And there's amazing things in there. And I'm not saying they're amazing just so y'all can go out and buy them. But there is a lot of neat stuff really coming through. We're going to have giant letters. Uh, fonts that's going to be awesome I'm going to put a cockeyed you guys cattywampus cattywampus I think we're going to be broke thank goodness uh, we have some big events coming up and uh, Analia and I have been ordering like crazy so we have a lot of inventory but we're going to have to get more because the stuff is amazing. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm scared, you guys, because these are so slick that I don't want any bleeding whatsoever. So I'm burnishing it with another squeegee. And then let's go for it. Are you all ready? Can you all see? I should have brought y'all down some, but... I don't want to mess with it. So let's go. You guys, and in February, when I start doing lives, maybe I should start now and pile January to Feb February. I am going to, every time y'all share, I'm going to be doing share giveaways. So all you have to do is share publicly on your page then come back and um, hashtag share and I'll put you in a drawing and I'm, it's going to be a transfer a um, a chalk paste and a squeegee Patty wants a price a price for these Look, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that pretty? So cute. So, so cute. Okay, let me dry it a little bit. 
And Alea wants Ray Dunn. Oh, yes, absolutely. Ray Dunn. Chocolate Tour is going to have Ray Dunn, you guys. A free prize. She wants a freebie. She has to share. She has to work for it a little bit. So if y'all want some of these, we're going to have extras at our market day. What is it? February 2nd, Anale, I think. Yes, I had to buy another one because my last one died. Let me show you my last one. This is the one I had before. It's not doing anything. So I went to go get another one and they're 40% off right now. 40% off. Okay, guys. So now let's do the recipe, okay? Isn't that cute? And I'll show you how to do the bow and everything. So what to do. Hi, Marisol. Thank you. Thank you. So remember, you guys, everybody who shares, let me get another cup. You're going to go into drawing, and at the end of February, you uh, might win, um, what do you call it? A transfer, a chalk paste, and a squeegee. A gift from me to you for sharing my lives. So I can grow my little business. Okay, you guys, ready? You get a funnel that's going to fit in the middle of your, what do you call it? Ornament. This is, I usually like the other one, the, um, the other brand of chocolate, but we're going to use this one. Should I flip it? Can y'all read that? Let me see. Did I not flip my camera? to wave so I can tell where I'm at so you just use regular cocoa mix okay I'm gonna put it over there out of my way um, I tried this cocoa mix with like a half of a quarter of a cup whatever measurement that is and it didn't work so what works is one fourth cup of chocolate for this size cup, okay, for this size cup, you have to take into consideration the size of your cup, okay? Hi, Crystal. Hi, Miss Connie. I missed you, too. I'm all well now. You can call me tomorrow if you like. So you have to tap it to get the chocolate in there. And we need to hurry up and do these because, you know, it's not going to be um, cold too long. Then, you guys, you add sprinkles. And it just makes it look cute. And I would love, you know, this, this is so neat. And she's going to give it to her students. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, Miss Connie. I've seen that you've gotten very brave. And then I'm using the mini little uh, marshmallow bits. And these you have to add a little bit at a time because they will clog up your funnel. I don't see Crystal, but welcome Crystal. Congratulations. You are a designer. Awesome. Girl, you're going to have too much fun. Oh, Connie, you're so nice. I promise I will have more time to watch y'all. I promise. Oh, you guys, and guess what? I am so excited, so excited. Okay, so after you do that, where's my little thingy? You guys, what do I do with it? I don't know what I did with it, but let me get another one. 
Yes, welcome, welcome, Miss Crystal, Miss Connie. So then you put this little topper back carefully. And some of them are so fragile, you guys, so you just have to finesse them on. Y'all are going to have fun. So there we go. And look, I don't know if y'all can see it up close, but there's sprinkles in there. There's the chocolate and the little marshmallows on top. So that you put on top of your cup, like so. And then let's do a little bit of embellishment. This one's pink, and I don't have very much of my pink ribbon with me. Let me see what we can do here. I have a mess! Crystal is under Marisol, right? And Marisol is under Analia. Y'all are going to be awesome together. Analia is a great leader. And I'm sure Marisol is on her way. She is, you know, you guys, when she joined, she just went gun ho And she's been doing awesome Facebook lives. Selling her finished products. She's been doing awesome. And Miss Connie, you've taken off also like a firecracker okay so which one should I use for the top you guys let me show you this one for those of you that just joined on this is what we're trying to achieve okay yes our wonderful talking crazy family You know, and Marisol, she is like a superwoman. She's got little babies, and she's out there, guys. She is out there. What to use? What to use? Because it's teal. This one has a little bit of teal and pink in there. I'm going to use this one on top. So you cut off about six inches. It's better to cut more than less. Do your little mermaid tail or your dovetail, whatever you want to call it. Make it look cute. You're awesome! Welcome, welcome, y'all. Remember, share my life. Come back and do hashtag share at the end of February. And all I do is feed it through the little loop, you guys, and I just do it just one time. Ducktail, I've heard dovetail, and I've heard mermaid. I like to use mermaid tail, but anything that works. So, and use wire ribbon because it just makes everything so much easier. Okay, now some of you have wanted to see how to make bows, and Norma's not here and she wanted to learn. So, I do have the what is it called? Pro bow the hand, the big one and the little one. But I've seen Damon using this one. And, of course, I had to go get one. So, I'm going to show you how to use this one. Yes, Marisol is a rock star. Only because Analia taught her everything she knows. <laughs> Did she, Marisol? I'm just saying it. Hi, Emma. Hi, Irma. Welcome, welcome. Sorry I missed you. Hey, you guys, look at this ribbon. On one side, it's striped, and on the other side, it's polka dotty. Isn't that cute? The guru. Okay, so what to do, what to do. I also want to use the black since it's got the black rim, and maybe keep, keep it similar to this just because of the black rim. So let's do this. Okay, the guys, I made on the others, I made a, what do you call it? A three inch bow. So here we go, it's very simple. I know this is not chalk -a tour but it's gonna make your chalk -a tour more amazing than it already is. 
so I do the little dovetail I put it down and if you have two-sided ribbon this is where you have to really pay attention I go to the three I twist it go to the three put it in between right here you twist it in this case you don't have to because it's the same on both sides go down the middle of the two little poles there and that's it dovetail the end at three inches and there you go that's the first one you leave it in there so now let's do polka dots and it's really cheap and if you get it with a 40 percent off I think it comes out to four bucks this one versus the other one that's an arm and a leg and a kidney so once again down to three this one is two-sided see it's plain on that side and this side so right here you twist it I try and do all my twists to the same side bring it down through the little two fingers I'm holding it at three twist I twist away Bring it down through the two fingers, twist, and that's it. You end up with the pretty side up. Do your dovetail. And then we're going to do this tiny little one. Yes, you do. And it's so easy and you can make big huge bows you can do the terry bow on here you can do any bow your heart desires let me dovetail this you guys and when we do make and takes on ali and i um like to make the bows ahead of time and it's just um twist it right here it's just an extra thing that we um add and whatever price you want to do depending on the price of your ribbon hello Annabelle so then you bring it around and I forgot to twist you twist right there mark it at three bring it back down and you can push it down you guys I'm going to show you before I take it off what it looks like okay Y'all see, look at the gap right there. There's not even a gap, really. And that's where all the ribbon is. So I just squish it down. You can just leave it there. And you can keep adding ribbon. So I like to use the Chanel, Chenille, not Chanel, Coco Chanel now. The Chenille little things. So you bring this up. And you just hold it all together. And you just twist your little pipe cleaner really tight and that's it and you guys this is how we take them to the make and takes this is how we take them to market day right Analia and then when we get there the people just pick out the colors that they like and then we fluff it out so let's move this out of the way and then let's fluff this one out and I like to do like a X so I put a loop on this side and a tail on that side then you do the opposite tail a uh, loop on this side tail on that side so you're making an X then get the bottom one and do the opposite tail to this side loop to this side tail to this side and I'm using wired ribbon loop to this side and then the top one you just finagle however you want and just open your loops and there you go there's a cute little bow so I didn't use a ribbon I wanted to I was gonna use this one it's okay no biggie so all I do is twist it a few times and then the ends you can either cut them off or I like to 
just turn it, turn it, turn it on itself. And then you have two little like antennae. So it's just a little extra something. If it drives you nuts, cut it off. Then you just fluff it up. And there you go, you guys. Isn't that cute? Okay, do y'all want to know how much I'm selling these for? I have 35 to make. Um, I'm selling them for uh, $20 each. $20 each. It's a big order. And I think I spent, these were I think 50 cents each. It's hard to find the plastic ones. You can use the glass. And then the cups were $3.99 with a 40% off. And it's in the spring section at your favorite craft store. Hi, Michelle. Welcome, welcome. Design and Vine. I don't know what that is. But welcome, Michelle. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Yes, please share and hashtag share and you might win a transfer, a uh, paste, and a squeegee at the end of February. So that's it. Isn't that cute? You got your taco tour there. You've got bow embellishments and you got the yummy chocolate in there. So cute. And I'm selling them for $20 each. If anybody wants one, I can make one for you. The cup might change in case... I don't find it, okay? If I can't find it anymore. Because I wiped out I wiped out the hobs yesterday and today. I haven't gone to McAllen or Brownsville, but Okay, so that's that. I showed you how to do a bow and I showed you that. Now, let me tell y'all something funny. Um, you know, Tonka Tours coming in with a beautiful launch. So, I needed a way and Analia needed a way and we've kind of you know already done it and we're happy with what we have but you know we always want to improve and we want to look more professional when we go to our make and takes right so before I left to California I placed an order for a transfer tote not a regular you know like this thing that holds our files or anything not that and before I go into that, let me let me just change the subject real quick. Analia was looking for some transfers that maybe I had or maybe they got stuck with mine or whatever. I didn't find them. But because of her, I got organized. So I went and they're 40% off right now. I went and I bought this, you guys. I think they're $19.99. And then I bought one for... This is going to be just uh, the transfers that we take uh, for the create and takes, make and takes. So they're going to be in here. And I think it's got 10 sheets, so you can put like 20 transfers in here. So the people can flip through them, pick out what they want, and then we go through it, okay? So um, I placed a big order for all um, stuff from last year, you know, the catalogs that just closed, that is gonna close soon. So I put, you know, everything's in here. Some of it is personal use. That uh, floral, floral, floral black and white one is for create and takes. Uh, just to be a little bit more organized and to look like, you know, we've got it all together, but we don't. But, you know, we can look like we do. <laughs> so, yes, aren't they pretty? Go get them, go get them. And, you know, when you do your make and takes or you're at uh, an event or whatever, they can just flip through them. And instead of, like, they get all messy. They get all messy. So, anyway, going back to my story. So, I wanted something because what I do is, y'all can do it too. I use um, the large envelopes that Talkator sends to us, our product in, our transfers. And you know how you open them from the top and then you have them hanging low. Well, I'm short. I like to cut them on the side like let's say this is the envelope and you know you open it like this I like to turn them like this 
and I taped that side that I opened and then I cut a little curve in one side of it and then we stick our transfers line down so and then the smaller envelopes that they send we put the A and the B size transfers in those and then in the big one of course anything bigger C's D's whatever you have so they get really raggedy and you know dirty and your address is on there and everything so I ordered this this is from Amazon it's got a zipper and I got it you guys for $14 it's called the art bag and it comes in a lot of different sizes my size that I got just so it could fit the large large transfers my size is a 23 by 31 because the 20 by 26 it was going to be too small Larry's going to kill you no he's not you just buy it and then you ask for forgiveness later so I got this it comes in blue and gray and I got the black because we're going to put this on it so we're gonna look really professional and you know our booth is a lot of black and white some teals some pinks so I think it's gonna match really nice well guess what Chocolate Tour did Chocolate Tour is going to have a bag with a logo on there that's teal really really pretty so of course we're gonna order one of those too but we can use one bag um, like for the demo uh, what do you call it the demo transfers and then we can use this bag for the inventory that we sell how funny you just did that too Marisol <laughs> but it's Chocolate Tour is going to have that amazing bag and it's also very reasonable it's really reasonable so yep we'll be getting that too I'm sure but this is not going to go to waste we're going to use it and we're going to ink it right now I'm not going to heat set it, but we're going to ink it. So I had it folded where it's got the corner. And we're going to do it in white, of course, you guys. And I'm going to use my Talkator logo. And it's got this handle. It's really nice and sturdy. It's got a foam grip on there. And then it's got the shoulder strap which I should probably take off just so it's not in my way. So, like I said, I got it on Amazon. Um, and it was, you know, Analia and I, one thing we always agree on is always improving, always looking, looking very professional. We dress professionally. We, um, we're always improving our booth, you guys, and the way we do our make and takes and everything every time we go to one we learn something we change something we're always trying to strive and represent talk a tour, tour tour the best of our ability okay so i kind of creased it and there's my center now i'm going to use ink so there's no room for mess up and since it's kind of it's a canvas fabric you don't have to fuzz it so let me try and find my center. And not to brag you guys, but when we go to our events, we can't even finish, we, we don't even finish setting up and people already wanna know what we're doing, what is that all about. Um, we have uh, our make and take and um, once a month. <laughs> Patty loves me, well I love her too. Uh, we have our make and take once a month, not our make and take, our market once a month in Harlingen. And not because it's our booth, but our booth is the prettiest booth that looks like a boutique. Is that not right, Analia? Or anybody that has seen it? We work so hard on that, you guys. So, let's chalk it up. Chalk it up. Don't want it to leak, so I'm going to burnish it really well. Make sure there's no air pockets. Oh, and let me show you another thing about the bag. Look, it's got reinforcements in the corners. So we're not going to use those ugly cardboards anymore. Thank you, Michelle. We work really hard. It's actually sent Analia to the hospital twice. 
my delicate wallflower for this he thought she was really sick and i didn't believe her i thought she was just so delicate but no she's a really a tough cookie don't mess with her <laughs> don't mess with her okay let's do it guys and i hope i don't screw it up i need something to protect me what do i do with my towel In case I mess up, you guys. Yes, Connie. She was really, really, really sick. She was in the hospital for a week after one of our events. And <laughs> it was so hot. And she was, you know, like pale, but then flushed. And she was, you know, she really hadn't eaten. And I don't think she had drank enough water. But that really wasn't the issue. She had other issues. So her husband was there, her child was there, my family was there, and we just told her, I told her, just sit down and drink some water, just relax, we'll put up everything. Don't worry, we pack it all up. She was really sick. She goes home and she ends up in the hospital. So I'm sorry for not believing her, but she's a strong cookie. We were really just shocked that she was so sick. Okay, ready you guys? I'm so scared. Here we go. And this is ink and I'm gonna set it later, but I'm gonna have to be real careful. It's canvas, it doesn't have a plastic lining. So I think it'll be okay. And I'm never gonna wash this thing anyway, so it'll be okay. So now I can't wait for the new one coming out. It's going to be pretty. I think this one holds more, but I don't know. Just basing it off of the video they showed us of the new things. Well, no, I don't work her too hard. We work ourselves too hard. You know, um, I actually... <laughs> I really, really, truly love her and appreciate her because I tell her, you know, Analia, I have no finished product for our booth. And our booth, you guys, really looks pretty. It looks amazingly pretty because of all her creations, her wreaths, her florals, and everything has Chocotour on it. So she also says, oh, I don't have anything either. I don't have time. And time after time, you guys, she um, brings in the, the most beautiful creations. And I truly appreciate her for that. So, and then we're all, um, the reward is always really nice because we either go to the wine house so that we have there or we go have an awesome delicious dinner or we do both so we work hard you guys but we play really hard too okay she is awesome okay i want to make sure i don't have any ink on me ready Hey, Melissa. She's blushing. Boy, she was blushing when she was sick, you guys. Really blushing. Oh, my gosh. How did I get so dirty? Okay. Hola. Okay, I can't pick it up. Oh, hold on. we go you guys I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side but I have to let it dry maybe I should dry it a little bit
So I'm going to let it dry, and then tomorrow I'm going to heat set it. But there it is. There's the giant bag. Oh, with Takator logo on there. And this is going to be for our transfers. Um, it's called the Florence. Up here it says Florence. And it's the art bag. And the size I got was 23 by 31. It comes in blue, gray, and black. And I got the black. I think the gray would be pretty also. But we try and stick to the colors we already use. So let me move that out of the way. That's project number two. You guys, there's Melissa. Melissa is on my team. You know, but Analia and I, our teams are like one. We're one big, huge family. Besides all my talking sisters that are here, right? We're one big family. But you guys, Melissa just opened a store. She's been open two weeks tomorrow. So she opened a cute little boutique in San Benito, Texas. And I called her today just to check up on her. And I go, Melissa, you got to be making Takator signs and put, you know, put them in the store to sell. She goes, my, I already did. I already have. I've already sold them. So, great. I'm the one that needs to make more signs. How do you set that with um, my, what do you call it? What do you call it, Analia? The Cricut heat press thing? Like for 30 seconds. You want me to do it? I can do it. I just need to get it. Hold on, because it's over there. I wasn't going to use it today. Hold on, you guys. Let me do it. Let me do it. This is the heat press. Okay. Turn it on. 300 for 25 minutes is what I, what I, 25 seconds is what I like to do. Oh. Y'all can set it at whatever y'all want, but that's what I like. Okay, so let's give it a little minute. It's going to beep when it's ready. And it doesn't take long. So in the meantime, I will get this, and I don't know where... I found it where my Teflon sheet is. You can also use an iron, correct? Oh, thank you. It's the Cricut Easy Press, Michelle. Um, you can use an iron. The only thing is with an iron, um, I think they suggest four minutes on each side. Four minutes on each side. And with this Easy Press thing, it's like 30 seconds, you're done. So, And I like to use this Teflon sheet. Okay, you guys, it's almost there. But yes, you can use an iron if you're using, um, that's for the ink. If you're using some ceramics, some glass, um, enamel, uh, metal, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Galvanized steel, things like that. You need to um, set it in the oven. You turn it up, let it come up to temperature. Then you turn it down, and I think it's 350 for, is it 30 minutes, Michelle? I don't remember. I never do it in the oven. And then I tried one of these cups in the oven, and it cracked, so. The easy press. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're almost done. You're going to hear it beep. And in the meantime... Let me situate this huge thing right here. Let me put this thing up here. And you're going to hear it beep. Three fifty for thirty minutes. Yep. Did y'all hear that? It's ready. So then you bring it over. 
You set it over your design and you press the green button and it's counting down for you. So to me, this is easier than for four minutes with your iron on each side. Yes, I did set it in a cold oven and I brought it up slowly. I put out 175, then I put it at 220, 220 no, 250, and then I went to 350. And um, what did it do? Um, it's ready now. And you can do it again. It's no big deal if you do it again. Just set your timer. Um, so I brought it up real slowly, and then I was having dinner, and I heard crack. So it, it broke in three pieces. I'm trying to make up for uh, being gone for, I think, over a month. So it's done. And I'm going to turn that off. It'll turn off by itself, you guys, in case you forget. And uh, you don't want to burn your house down or your craft studio or whatever. So, um, there it is. Gorgeous. So now it's permanente. Permanente. Now, let's do one more project and then I'm out of here. No, I'm not going to bake the, bake the cups. I used paste, and um, I sell DIY paint at my store. So I'm going to use uh, the Big Top Sealer and just do three, brush three strokes on there, and it'll seal it. Yeah, that, that sealer that I have is really, really good. So that's what we'll do. And then I'm going to put on a note on there to hand wash only. Don't stick it in the dishwasher because then they're going to lose the whole design. Okay, what am I going to do? Which aluminum mugs? These? Are you talking about these, Analia? You guys, I have a freaking mess in my studio here. My studio, remember, is my quilting room. And um, my pearl room. And now my chonkator room. So it's a mess. And then we have the flood. So that side of the room is a mountain of stuff. These mugs, Analia? Which mugs are you talking about? Let me know which mugs are you talking about. They're not aluminum, they're ceramic. If you're talking about those. Okay, you guys, please share. Please share and remember, come back and do hashtag share. Share publicly on your page. And um, at the end of February, there's going to be a giveaway. It's the wine. Oh my God, she's had too much. She's had too much. So let's chalk a tour of this one. And this, you guys, if you go right now, I hate to be advertising for them, but if you go right now to Hobby Lobby, they have a 75% bin. This one had little scuffs on there, and I just got a black Sharpie, and I took off the scuffs, and you can't even, you can't even tell. So I got like eight of these. They have some cute little lattice ones that are really adorable. So, um, I think I ended up paying, 
$1.25, I think, for each one of these. It's Patty's fault. I'm sure she's twisting your rubber arm. See, and even right there, it's scuffed, but I'm going to leave it distressed because I don't care about that. It's like the paint's coming up, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I like everything shabby chic, distressed. So we'll put this on here and then we'll do one more bow and then we'll be done for the night. And then I don't think I'll come on tomorrow. I'm going to try and be more diligent, you guys. It's Patty's fault. Si, hombre. Um, I might come on Sunday. I need to talk to my teammates. And I'm, we're going to tell y'all what's happening on Sunday, okay? But it's going to be fun. It's going to include Analia, of course. Um, Marisol. Crystal. Melissa, if she's available. Angela, if she's available. Sheila and Sheila, if they're available. Miriam, if she's available. Whoever wants to join us, you guys. It's mainly for our teams, but if we have availability for you all, whoever other designers are on here and want to do it, we will probably open it to you as well. But we'll give you details either later tonight or tomorrow. I need to talk to my partner in crime, Miss Analia. And right now, I don't know if she can make any rational decisions because obviously Patty has fed her too much wine. You missed it how it came out. You had a potty. Oh my God, don't remind me. I got to go too, girlfriend. Okay, so standard white, classic white. And this is what it says. I love you with my whole heart for my whole life just white and then I do pinky bows or do I do red bows red ribbons you would like to be on the wait list okay Miss Connie we'll let you know tomorrow I have to talk to Analia when she's sober and who knows when that will be oh I was going to tell y'all something but I think I should wait. I think I should wait. I should wait. I should wait. Red. Yeah, red. It'll look nice with the black. How about you, Miss? <laughs> I tell y'all, we work real hard, but man, do we play hard too. They're having a good time, and I have to be sober here, okay? Let me get another. We'll do red. Analia, you're going to love it. There's a little something, something there. Hold on. We need to talk to Michelle, too. First time here. Well, welcome, Miss Patricia Gibbs. Welcome, welcome. Ready, you guys? Here we go. This is going to be fast. The bow's what's going to take us the longest. And it's not even long either. And Miss Norma Bolin, when you watch that replay, you can come to the store and you can come play with it if you want with the bow maker and see if you like it before you purchase because I have both at the store not for sale but you can play with it there I don't sell any of this stuff you guys at my store we'll tell you about it later Michelle I have to wait till Analia is sober. When Patty stops feeding her, making her drink wine. But I think she'll be in on it. And I think you'll do it too. 
So I took most of my chalk paste off. It, you just need very little of your paste, minimal usage of your paste. And then you have to pull it up quick before it dries and I have all my fans going. Oh my God, you guys, look how awesome. You're rolling. You're rolling, rolling, rolling. There you go, you guys. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's make a bow. <laughs> You're rolling because you fell to the floor with all that wine consumption or because it's funny. And Patty is so sober, it's sad. Well, stop feeding it to Analia. Okay, you guys, let's do this again. What to use? We have to use a buffalo check because that makes Analia happy. And let's use this giant red polka dotty thing. Pink bow, but we used red ink. We used red ink. I should have used pink ink. I mean, not ink, paste. Okay, we'll, we'll audition. I also have this one. So we'll audition pinks. This is going to go on both of it. Both of them. And then I have shiny red. Zigzaggy red. I have that fuchsia, or not fuchsia pink, but bright pink. That pink that had the both stripey and polka dotty. So, the black's got to go in both of them. Pink and black and white. I don't have white. I don't have white, you guys. I also have country bumpkin check. Polka dots, red or pink? Y'all want to go pink? I'll do pink. Because I have lots of them to make anyway. So the next one can be red. Okay, then I have, so how about that? The only white I have is this one that's polka dotty. Pink, black, and red dots. So, which pink? This pink is like a, what do you call it? Then there's this pink, the big polka dots. Polka dots. Then this pink has stripes and polka dots. And you know everything's buffalo check right now, or check. Pull this one out, that's not doing anything. The pink with the black. This pink, we need three of them. We need three of them. We can do four too, but we need three of them. Pink polka dots, okay. One, black plaid, two, and the white polka dotty one. Three, Connie says. Those three. What do you think? And maybe a baby one of this on the top? I think I'm gonna do that okay so first we're gonna do the bottom and I like to mermaid tail the bottom the end of the strip solid pink is a no got it now this bow has to be a little bit bigger so let's do a five inch bow solid pink you like the solid pink so just put it in, and I think we're going to do a 5-inch bow because it's a big one. And I like big, floppy bows. Okay. And then you twist because this is going to be the inside of your bow. And hold it out to 5. I put my thumb there, you guys, at 5. 
bring it back through in between your little poles there. I like to twist away. So I'm twisting right there. Hold your thumb at five. Bring it down the middle again. And right here, we're gonna cut the end off. You guys, if we all do this on Sunday, it's going to help each and every one of us. And each and every one of us will have to and Aliyah will make the post, <laughs> um, but it'll help each and every one of us. And I think it's going to be something fun. And it's within the rules because I couldn't find it where it was not within the rules. Okay. So then let's mermaid tail this one. Go to five. This one you can go a little bit shorter or you can keep it at five. I'm going to keep it at five. This one is the same on both sides, so you don't have to twist, but I'm going to twist just so you get used to doing that twist away from you. Go in between. Twist away. Come in between. You guys, this is an awesome buy. And I have no affiliate with this or anything, but it's an awesome buy if you're not sure if you're gonna like a bow maker. It's a good one to try. Then we're gonna do the white, right? So I'll be calling on Ali in a little bit when we're done and uh, discuss, discuss what we're doing on Sunday and then we'll let y'all know. So either go to Analia's page or go to my page and read up all about it. And then you have to message her or me and let us know if you want to participate, okay? And if you say yes, you want to participate, you better come through. We're going to need you and you're going to need us. Then we'll do this one and I'll do the stripey side. Are you all with me still? Thank you guys for being with me tonight. I'm going to do this one a little bit shorter. Just for cuteness sakes. Like a little center of a flower. To be the center of our bow. Twist away. I'm trying to use a stripe. The stripey ribbon. mermaid tail the end and we're done you need a white chenille thingy you love the bows you know a lot of people can't make bows you guys and you know I can make a bow by hand but this is so much easier your hands don't get tired and I think you do less um, struggling with your with your bows I also, later some other day, I'll show you a different kind of bow I do. Um, I call it my odd ball, odd ball bow because it has three, three different little things I do to it. So it's the center and I just twist it maybe three times right there. And if you need a fluff box, you get yourself a fluff box. If not, what I like to do is I like to put it on my project because that will hold the bow down with your, make sure that string is up high and then feed your pipe cleaner through. Do a little twisty thing and I'm going to do them up at the top so I can do my little curly things. Now for the curly things you can get a pencil or something and you can do this. Just wrap it around all the way down. Or you can cut them. You love your fluff box? I want to get one, but I don't know if I need to get one. 
So I did those little curly things up there with the excess. I just think they look cute. And then I start at the bottom. So you fluff it up and you make an X. Um, loop, tail. So then I put the tail over here, the loop over here. Then the black, I do the opposite or beyond. Can y'all see? I feel like I'm hiding it from y'all. And these, if you do this, it makes the ribbon really pretty. Just by, you know, kind of stroking it down your fingers, it makes it look pretty. Makes it look like, I don't know, fuller, I guess. Then this one, I guess I'll leave in the middle and move this tail down. This will go down and this tail up. And then this little bitty one is wired, but it's harder to control. So, whistling helps. And I'm missing a tail. There it is. So, I'll bring this tail up. If you love it, that means I did okay, because Analia is the guru of bows. The wreath queen, wreath queen extraordinaire. So cute, you guys. Isn't that cute? And the red does not look bad with a pink at all. And I think it's that black check that just ties everything together. Isn't that pretty? Okay, designers. So, stay tuned. And you go to Chalk with Sisters Creations. Um, we're going to have a post there. Or with mine, which is uh, Simply Chalk Design. Uh, independent Chalk Couture Designer. Um, for the post. And if y'all want to participate, just message us, okay? So thank you for joining me tonight. That's all I have. We did this. We did the huge bag. And we did this. You guys, if y'all can make these, you make a lot of profit on these. You can even go for $15. Even, you know, I don't wouldn't go to $10, but $15. They're so cute. So cute. And y'all saw the bag. Okay. And this, you guys, this idea also you can, um, it didn't have it on Pinterest, but also if you use, um, um, what do you call it? Loose leaf tea, like for Mother's Day. That'll be amazing too. Mother's Day gifts in a mug. Show the bag again. Sure. It's grande, more extra grande because it's from Texas. It's got a zipper. I did the outside first, but I'm going to do this side too. It's got a zipper and it's really heavy canvas. This bag also has corner protectors right there that are like maybe a faux leather or something. It's got a really nice thick handle right here that's got a foam. And it does have a shoulder strap that's adjustable. Um, and I got it on Amazon. And there's the tag. Florence, I think it is, art bag. And the size I got, I don't know if y'all can see it there, is 23 by 31. And there's a SKU number, you guys. If you want the SKU number, it's FAB for fabulous 0131K. FAB 0131K. But remember, Chalkator is also going to have these in the beautiful Chalkator color of teal. It's got a really nice heavy zipper. So.
So I liked it, you guys. So now I have to order one for my partner in crime. I ordered only one because, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Thank you, Michelle. We have two Michelles. One with a double L and one with one L. Thank you, guys. So stay tuned for the post. Like I said, it'll be on Analia's um, page, which is Chalk with Sisters uh, Creations. RGB, I think it is, Analia. And then, um, or you can, you need it all. Or you can check with mine um, probably tomorrow. And if y'all are interested, just message either Analia or myself. And we're going to have fun on Sunday. Okay? And I think this will help all of us immensely. Okay? And we're here to support each other. So, get ready. Analia, sober up. Call me later if you want. Okay, you guys. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And we'll see you Sunday. Okay? Bye.